Hello and welcome back, Patrick and Travis here, and today we're building a portable river camera rig. Let's get started. Okay, so some of my builds have gotten a little expensive, up in the $100 range. But this one, I'm doing basically for nothing. And that's because I've garbage picked all of these different supplies. I've got four milk jugs, two broom handles from old brooms, I guess, and mops. Um, I've got an old tripod I'm not using right now. And I've also got some rope, camera, and some cable ties. So the plan is, I'm going to strap those milk jugs to these, uh, I guess, broom handles and see how this goes. It's going to be kind of confusing, but let's get into it. So first off, let me clarify what I'm actually doing here because it may be a little confusing. I am building a floating tripod to be able to film myself on the river. The reason for this is because I shoot my videos at such a strange time that I can't normally get a cameraman out on the water with me to film the episodes I want to film. So instead, I've got to build one. And in this case, I'm using these garbage picked materials to do that. So the first step was to strap the camera tripod down to the yard sign using some cable ties. Then I took some more cable ties, strapped the brooms on the front of it to form kind of a tripod base, just like the regular camera tripod, with two milk jugs as outriggers on the front and two more milk jugs strapped on the back just to give it extra flotation and keep everything level. Now I also made myself an anchor out of an old pop bottle filled with sand and that will be used to anchor it in place once I'm actually out on the river. So here we have the finished product. I've got the two milk jugs in the back. I was originally thinking of doing a cross design with the broom handles and then mounting the milk jug set, but this more three-point design I think will work better. It's going to be more stable this way and it's going to be pretty stable front to back. So hopefully this will be a good camera rig and I'll be able to tie off the front of here. Let's go try it out. As you can see we're now on the river and if you're enjoying the episode up to this point please be sure to subscribe. I'm in a race with a couple of my friends to see who can get the most subscribers and every subscription helps. So be sure to tune in and subscribe. Um, let's give this thing a try. So it's actually proving to be pretty good for a kayak mounted camera rig as is because I can film and keep myself paddling at the same time, which is awesome. And I'm enjoying the day. So now it's time to try everything. <laughs> this is too much fun. I love goofing around. Put it up on the front of the boat. So uh, I'm gonna deploy it here. I don't know how deep the water is. We'll see how this goes. Um, it's going to be fun. It's actually a lot clearer out here today than I was expecting, so that's good. Um, I've been debating if I could take the bass boat out by myself. I haven't quite tried it yet solo, so that'll be the next experiment. But right now we're just testing the camera rig, so let's get the camera rig set up and deployed into the river, and we'll see how it does, if it handles the waves and everything like it should. Okay, so we're going to deploy the boat camera here. Let's see if it works. Will it float? That's the question. Hey, it looks like it does. Oh, it actually floats really good. Check that out. Well, the camera rig is deployed. It seems to be working great. Um, some unexpected things. It seems to pivot with the wind and not the current, so that was a surprise. I thought I'd anchor it the stream would push it downstream and it would just stay facing one direction. Um, however, it actually seems to pivot with the wind more so, which is proving to be a little bit of an issue to get it lined up. So I think what we'll have to do is probably add an extra anchor to the system here. It's also kind of hard for me to stay in focus when I'm not anchored and the camera, as you can see, is already spinning off of me. So it's kind of like this game we're playing where the camera goes one way and I go the other way, and we try to keep both of us in focus. Also, because I'm wearing polarized sunglasses, 
I can't actually see where my camera is facing right now because, there we go, make sure we still got it in focus. Obviously my camera is getting blocked off by the polarization in my sunglasses, which is kind of a problem I'm having as well. But overall, very successful build. So as you can see, I've got a little anchor deployed off of the front here. And that's holding the camera in position. And then the current, or the wind, whichever happens to be stronger, is keeping the camera held in the other position. So what I'm going to probably have to do here is maybe add an extra anchor off of one of the other sides just to keep it held down here. Because right now, when the wind comes, it just pivots it. So if you look here, I'll show you my anchor. It's not actually that far down. I just have this little hop can filled up with there it is, filled up with sand. So that's what's holding it in position. And then the actual milk jugs provide the flotation, which is more than enough. And it's got pretty good seat handling. Like this is not gonna tip over. Camera seems to be all right as far as being stable, so that's good. I was worried it would tip over. All around, I'd say it's a very successful build. Let's hope the footage turns out. And as you can see, the footage turned out, but it, it was very, very hard to get any footage at all because the camera kept turning. So basically what would happen is I'd go out in front of the camera, the camera would turn to a different angle, and I would only get like a small section like what you see here of me actually in the film at any given time. So for the previous mentioned anchoring issues, we're gonna have to work on that in the next model. But all around, I'm satisfied with this project and I'm very happy with it. I'm going to improve it for future episodes and you'll see it again on this channel, I guarantee you that. Until next time, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next episode. Patriot Contraptions, signing out.